Hey guys, this is Patty B within the hauler. I got another firearm I'd like to share with y'all. This is my Enfield number no. five Mark I jungle carbine, chambered in 303 Brit. Good, good look at her here. Uh, so the number five, you know, was derived from the uh, number four Enfield rifle that was intended to be a smaller, lighter variant, um, easier to carry and pack around, I think for airborne troops possibly. Um, it was manufactured both by Fizakerly and BSA, Birmingham Small Arms, Shirley, are the only two companies that made uh, true number fives. They were manufactured uh, between 1944 and 1947, this one being a 1945 manufacture date. So right at the end and just after World War II, um, I think there's some debate on how much or if any uh, action they saw in World War II, um, possibly little, but most of it was probably after, after World War II had ended. Uh, so the biggest thing with these versus the number four is a it's a lot shorter um, They chop the barrel down and you've got basically a 19 inch barrel on the number five versus a uh, 25 or so on the number four They also did a lot of extra milling cuts on the receiver and the barrel As you can see here They've hollowed out the bolt handle oh, God, I'm close. This milling spot here lightning cut here and even the uh, trigger guard and magazine frame right here has all been thinned out under the handguard here around the barrel it's there's lightning cuts around that as well the stock has been shortened and made smaller to save weight it comes with a very small it's got a steel butt cap within a rubber but pad, of course, these are all pretty much hard as rocks now. And they don't pretty, they don't give any cushion when you shoot them. And since these things are about two pounds lighter than the number four, you know, if you're using full house loads, they they can kick pretty good. So out front, we've got a barrel band. So you can see we don't have as much wood as we would on the number four. And then we've got the uh, iconic flash hider of the number five. Um, you see that and you know that you're looking at a number five because it was the only only variant that had that. Uh, some of the features on this, um, it's got a 300 yard battle sight and then it also has, you got a flip up aperture which goes from uh, 200 yards all the way out to eight which you can adjust by that knob right there. Uh, like every other Enfield, there's your safety. Bolt is easily removed. Magazine release. Uh, like every other Enfield, you've got a 10 round box magazine, which is pretty cool because at the time, you know, nobody else had a 10 round mag. Well, there you go. Um, this was probably my latest CNR purchase. I got it not long ago. Um, so you can see the, the wood's kind of dinged up pretty good. And underneath the wood, there's a fair amount of uh, oh, pitting for some old corrosion. There's probably a pretty good chance that this thing came from Malaysia, where a lot of these ended up after World War II, the Malaysia crisis. And well, you spend time in the jungle and you're going to get corrosion. So. But it's not too awful bad. It's just, it's not real pretty, but hey, it's under the wood. So, but for the price I paid, it's more than good enough. You know, I kind of wanted a jungle carbine my whole life just because they're awesome. You know, iconic rifle. Maybe. There we go. Uh, like all Enfields, cock on clothes. You know, the Brits loved cock on clothes on their rifles. Anyways, give you a good look at some of the markings on it. So, 
So these things were notorious for, you know, what they call it, a wandering zero. I don't know if it's the, the lighter weight barrel or the bedding how is different than the number four or who knows what. Um, but that they were alleged after they got hot that they weren't super accurate after that. I haven't had this one long enough to do any serious shooting and my range only goes out to 200 yards. So I'm wandering zero. I, I can't tell you because at 200 yards, it still, it still hits just fine even when the barrel's hot. So you probably need a longer range to figure that out. My range isn't long enough for that. Well, all right, speaking of my range, let's take the old war horse out, see what she can do. All right. All right, guys, we got some, uh, 174 grain ball ammo we're going to run through the jungle carbine uh this is actually ironically german made uh, by men um 174 grain ball that we're gonna try at 100 yards here with the uh number five All right, uh, she's done pretty good. All right, guys, we'll uh, we'll try the 200 yard target. It's kind of hard to see when the sun's real bright like this, but I think I can see it with my old eyes. We'll give it a shot, see what I can do. Or maybe not. <laughs> Well, there we go. It took me a minute to find it, but once I found it, uh, these peep sights make it easy. But I wish I had a lot more rounds to shoot today, but so here we go, guys. The number five jungle carbine. All right, you guys have a good day.